G'day guys, Skits here, and welcome to episode 11 of my FIFA 12 Manage Mode commentary. Uh, this episode is going to be a live one, so what I'm going to be doing is basically uh, talking while I'm playing, and as you can see, we've got a huge game I decided to do live against Manchester City, and uh, we've got the transfer deadline day at the end. So, uh, currently we are still in the third position, which is very nice. If we look over here, uh, we are in the third position. Um, we have a few people that are, you know, contending behind us. You know, we got Liverpool, Aston Villa, City, surprisingly aren't doing too well, and Chelsea, but... Arsenal just doing absolutely amazing there, right on top. Um, but anyway, we're going to be playing our first game, which is going to be against City. And let's just have a look at our team and see what team we want to be playing. Uh, as you can see at the moment, we're four stars. And Duffy, I really want to be replacing Duffy, and I might get a new striker uh, to go with Jelovic. So Duffy, yeah, not too great, but at least all these guys are fit, except for Anishabi, I think it's pronounced who I'm going to actually take off for maybe, yeah, Baxter, because he's a little bit injured. I don't want to have him uh, even more injured. So this looks like a good lineup. We're going to be using this lineup for the game. All's looking good there. All right, let's go. Uh, so, yeah, th so far this uh, the series has gone really well, and I figured a live commentary would be a nice little change uh, just to mix it up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, against Manchester City, we're coming sixth, which is definitely surprising. Uh, at home to them, which is always nice. But, I mean, really, you know, they got a pretty ridiculous squad if you look here. Uh, I'll just quickly here. We'll go four minutes, and I don't like rainy at all. I'll go dry, night dry. Not a huge fan of playing in the rain. Um, so yeah, we'll just play a match and have a look at their squad, guys. I mean, they've got Hart, Sanger. Uh, I mean, look at some of those players they have. They're just some amazing players. Uh, and I mean, we've got an all right team, but you know, we, we definitely should start looking to replace a fair few of them. And I want to start doing that maybe this episode. So definitely a new right back is needed. Um, because, I, yeah, I definitely think that our, our team could really be uh, fixed with a, a bit more depth into the into the backs. Uh, we do have Baines, who's quite good. Um, but, you know, it's really, that's about it, to be honest. So, uh, and maybe we'll replace Heisinger a bit later on. But at the moment, there's probably no need to. So, yeah, we're at Goodison Park, which is a very good home ground, i got to say. Uh, so, you know, hopefully we'll see how we go. I want to start, you know, playing. I'll, I'll change it to attacking, as you can see on the bottom left. I want to play quite offensively against City because obviously they're a, quite a strong team. And if I can get an early goal, that might, you know, really, really mean a lot. So, oh, crap, they've already made a lot of chances. Push our defender back here. Oh, God, that's very dangerous. Oh, my goodness, they've scored in the fourth minute. That is just, that was pretty poor defense, but I mean, what a build up there by uh, City just to get it to, I think Adam Johnson is it? That's a really nice goal, to be honest. Really couldn't do too much about that goal, um, as you can see there. Just just a very nice cross there to uh, Johnson, who finishes it really well. All right, anyway, let, let's, let's, not, let's just forget about that and just keep on playing and move the ball around and all that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, we don't, have the, we don't have the worst team, so we can definitely pull something back. Duffy, as you can see, he's pretty slow. I, I'm not a huge fan of him. So let's just play the ball around. Pina. Oh, here we go. It's a bit dangerous. Oh, go for the shot. Yeah, a bit optimistic, i got to say, from Baxter there. But nonetheless, that's an all right start. It's an all right um, way to kind of hit back from them. Uh, we definitely, I, I definitely want at least a draw from this game because it's important that we, we are getting points in this kind of late-ish, or kind of it's a mid part of the season. But it is, you know, important that we can keep up with some of the bigger teams because it's very easy to start... You know, dropping points to, to teams like City. So, that's just... Uh, Jelovic, he's just been an amazing player for us. Play the through ball. Hit it first time. Uh, i got to stop doing that. i got to stop doing those those optimistic shots. They've got Joe Hart in goals. So, it doesn't... I don't think we'll... Uh, it's not going to be too easy to break through him. Oh, there's a few plays around. But I'm going to just take the safe option. All right. Ah, oh, bad touch there. And City definitely have a very tight defense. You know, they got um Company, who's very good. Sanger, they've bought from uh, Arsenal is very good as well so they've got oh goodness oh thank god that was offside because they were in the clear there so that was lucky and they were only offside by like a, a foot so that is kind of lucky for us but anyway let's go Gibson play him through oh that was a terrible through ball just went straight to their play there but I'm just going to hold our one there you go see when you do that it basically adds a lot more pressure oh oh no what are you doing oh my god I meant to pass to um, was that Essie in there Oh, see, that's something about FIFA sometimes. It just... Oh, my God. Like, obviously, that's who I wanted to pass to, yet it, it didn't let me pass him. But, oh, well. Not a bad start for us. Apart from their goal, which was just bloody frustrating, to be honest. Oh, God, that's a good ball. That is a very good ball. Come on, slide. Yes, be beautiful tackle, Duffy. It's the one good thing he's done for us. Actually, no, he hasn't been too bad. Oh, I've got to stop being so mean to him. Um, but, okay, that's good. Play the ball. Play three ball, three ball. There we go. Play again. That's good. 
Baines, who's a really great player in real life. I'm pretty sure United are looking to get him. There you go, Jelovic. Oh. So Jelovic is, is a very good player, but against City players, maybe not so much because City's probably arguably the second best team in the game or maybe third best. You know, Barcelona, Real Madrid, um, at least in the game. Maybe not in real life, but at least in the game. Actually, probably in real life as well because they're very good. They won the Premier League. All right, played out here. I have a shot, Diara. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, jeez. We're making chances, and that's good. That's what um, I wasn't... That's what I've been hoping for. I didn't think that we'd be actually making chances. So that's all right. We're not doing too badly here. All right. Diara. Play him. There we go. Oh, there we go. Come on, you're in the clear. Shoot. Oh, that was very close. That They are lucky they have Joe Hart in goals, because he's just a monster in this game. He's very good, but we'll whip it in here. Oh, Duffy. No. Oh, okay. That's that's another corner there. Let's just do this. Do the exact same thing again. Straight in there. It's very dangerous. Oh, Duffy, Duffy, Duffy. Oh. Just, he got ahead to it, but just not, not enough power on that. Oh, sorry. Too much power and not enough. Kind of, he didn't keep it down at all. Still, this is all right. We're, as I said, we're creating opportunities, uh, which is good. And, and basically, it's been in our half a, a lot of this game. So that's, that's all right. Um... All right, let's not let's not just jockey them. Okay, there we go. Oh, Tevez, he's a very good player. Oh no. Okay, let's just keep it tight in defence. Everton, come on. Oh, jeez, this is risky to be honest. I'm not I'm not good at defence in this game. I don't know, just something about that. I'm just not good in defence. Um, I'm alright at you know shooting and all that kind of stuff. That, that's how I that's why I always seem to score with Yelovich. But just when it comes to defence, I'm never really that good. Um, because I always just seem to get. There we go. That's an alright of defense there from Pina but I always seem to get screwed over in defense all right let's let's keep them at least let's let's you know not let them score another goal before half because that will really give them all the momentum so right, here we go in fact I might make a, a sub at half time uh, we've got a few uh, tied players and we could do with a, a bit of fresh legs and someone to kind of change things up a bit so looks like they'll have three minutes of, at a time and they've just had all possession this last few minutes. This is a bit irritating. That's the thing about the, the, the computer is they just keep possession. It's really annoying. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's 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 just it's quite frustrating, I've got to say. All right, come on, Pina. Pina, you got options? No, nah, just shoot. Just go for it. No, that was dumb. I probably shouldn't have shot. But still, you never know. I've hit some pretty good goals this, this uh, season, so you never know. Anyway, the half ends at 1-0. Uh, isn't too convincing from from City. I mean, they had a few chances there, here and there. Uh, Tottenham were up against Wigan. Nothing too crazy about that. But if we look at match facts here, um, they aren't dominating. I mean, they do have possession, but we definitely have shots. Um, and we'll just have a look at how my team's going in terms of stamina. All right, no one's too knackered. Uh, Duffy could go off for, for Dia, but once again, Dia isn't really good either. So we'll wait until maybe the 60th minute or so and make it make a sub. So anyway, we're going to kick off. In the second half, and, and hopefully, you know, this half will go better than last. It was just irritating that we got that late, uh, that early goal um, goal against us. Come on, Pienaar, curl it in. Oh, that is a beautiful finish. Pienaar, that is a wonderful finish. Just curled it around the keeper. Um, finessing is such a such a good um, way of shooting in this game. That was just a beautiful shot there from Pienaar. Look at that. Just curls it around the whole... Uh, just curls around Joe Hart there. He has no chance whatsoever there. That is, a, that is. I'm really happy with that goal actually. He just kind of turns their defence and then, oh, that is just that is a sexy goal. <laughs> so one one in the 48th minute. Nice early goal in the second half, which is always great. Um, so let's let's push for another. I, I I think we can get the win out of this game. You know, City haven't been too good at all this game. And geez, I should not jinx myself. Come on, come on, stay tight in defence. Stay tight in defence. Oh, they've got options. Oh sh Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that was the most <laughs> that was the most scrappy thing I've ever seen. Wow. Okay. Luckily they didn't score that because that would have been lame. Okay. Let's let's just keep it tight in defence because if the only thing that's gonna make me lose this game is my horrible defending. And, all right, Pina playing through. Pina's played very well this game so far. Oh, see, my plays are quite slow in comparison to City. City's are such a strong team. You know, they got Tevez. I mean, they got so many players and they got so much money to spend as well. So, all right, there we go. But if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a, a very, very um, big supporter for Chelsea FC. That's my team. A lot of people seem to think that I go for Everton just because I'm doing a management with them. But I figured Everton would be a good team to choose because um, they are not hated by anyone. I don't think anyone like hates them. Like a team like United or Chelsea, a lot of people seem to like hate them for whatever reason. Um, and and 
Everton are just kind of the mid mid team that no one really cares about. Oh, actually, no, sorry. I, I'm sure that a lot of people go for Everton, but a lot of people don't, like, you know, hate them or anything, so... Oh, Baxter. Ah. See, I can't make those runs with these, these average players because they'll always get tackled. Oh, let's win the ball back. No, oh, that's a very risky cha challenge there. All right, let's just hold tight in defense, hold tight in defense. Ah, oh, crap. Jekko is very good. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but he's very good. Oh, there we go. That was some good defense there from Heitinger. All right, I'm going to make a sub as well, actually, because um, I think a few of my players, yeah, Duffy's knackered. Uh, who else is knackered? Uh, Heitinger's knackered, but I don't think we've got anyone to put on for him. See, that's the thing about my team. We don't have much depth there. Um, I will actually change out... T t t I'll put Enishabi on for a little bit. Uh, I'll put Barclay on as well, because I like giving him a bit of a run for Gibson, and that should be right. So, I, I always like to... Oh my god, who is that? I always like to make a few subs uh, in my management, modes just because of match fitness is always a bit of an issue for me. So, if it wasn't for Howard, honestly, we I would lose so many more games. Like, he's been such a brick for me this whole season. Um, and I'm definitely not looking to get a new keeper, that's for sure. It's the one position where I feel completely secure and oh god. See that's what I do too much with um with the kind of average average players in this game. I try and go for runs, but they never seem to because they're not that good, they they never seem to work too well, but put pressure on them and they might actually make a mistake here. See what I find in against the bots is yeah, if you put enough pressure on them they'll eventually make it a pretty big mistake. Alright, there we go, whip it in. Oh no. Could have tried to there we go, we it's still there. Yes! Come on, oh, I was hoping he could just volley it or something. It's all right. Come on, get back now. See, the, the thing, City are very good at, at, oh, God, that was some horrible defense there. City are very good at the, at the counter attack, so we got to be careful for that. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice. There we go. We won the ball there. Oh, get there. It's a shame. Oh, well. So it's the, what, 80th minute? 78th minute, and uh, at the moment it's nil-nil, so hopefully we can... At least hold this draw, at least, because I'm thinking we can win this game. I really am. And maybe in the 85th minute or so, I'm going to change my formation to fully attacking, because I, I honestly think we can win this game. Like, I know it's unrealistic that that Everton would, would even nearly be able to, but, I mean, it's just, they, they haven't played too well at all. So, a corner, that's not too bad at all, because um, we got some we got some pretty tall players, so hopefully this will this will work out. All right, let's just whip it in there with Baines. Oh, there you go. Look, he's a free man there. Oh, you know, oh, that was that's a shame. Uh, Djokovic could have done a little bit better there. I think. I think I'm mispronouncing that name. I, I do that a lot, guys. I do apologise about that, but I'm not good at pronouncing a lot of players' names. But ooh, 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 ooh. oh, that is a foul. Come on, send him off. No, nah, maybe not a red card, but that is, yeah, red card. Yep. Nigel De Jong is gone. That was a very bad tackle, and I, that is a very good position. If I was a good. If I was good, I could bury this, but I suck at free kicks. So I'm just going to try and put heaps of power and hit up there. Ooh, see that? Yeah, that was never going to go in. It's because, I, guys, I, I'm not going to lie. I can't take free kicks to save my life. But they are 10 men down, guys. So maybe in this last few uh, minutes of the game, we might even be able to, to get a late goal. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay. Let's let's change it. As you can see on the bottom right, I've changed it to ultra attacking. Um, so that when I do get the ball back, my whole team will kind of push up. And I think, yeah, I think we we even maybe even deserve to get the three points from this game because City have not played well at all. And I mean, here we go on the counter, on the counter. Come on, oh god, Anishabi's a bit slow actually. There we go. That was good though. That was good. Whip it in, whip it in. No, that was never gonna. Oh, Barclays there though. Barclays there. Finish it. Oh, jeez. Honestly, I think City are lucky that City very lucky that I didn't score in the late stages of the game. But nonetheless. Game ends as 1-1. Bit of a shame that they uh, scored so early on. It really kind of changed the way the game played out. I mean, look at this. That was a very good cross there and a really nice header. But nonetheless, it was a very good game. We'll have a look at the match facts just very briefly. Tottenham smashed Wigan there. No surprises, to be honest. Um, I mean, they had possession. But, I mean, c computer always really have possession. Um, yeah, not a bad game at all, to be honest. So we're going to advance. And what I'm going to do now is look to buy a new player. Um, because, or a new, I've actually put in a lot of bids for players, so you'll see a lot of, um, a lot of things come back for, for players that I've actually put bids on, so we'll see if I've gotten any of them, or if any of them have accepted, you'll see a whole bunch of emails here, um, so we'll see what happens here. Alright, so yeah, as you can see, the list is ridiculously big, 
Alright, so one guy has declined. Alright, so uh, Velios is sold to Aston Villa. Uh, it looks as though... Yep, you have... So I'm going to... So there's a fair few players that I can bring in, guys. Um, and I want to make it so that I can bring in a striker and a, uh, and, and a back. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking Gamero would be a very good option. He's, he's quite cheap. And if we look at his stats here, he's, he's, got, he's good. He's only 24 years old. Um, he's got finesse shot. He's an acrobat. He's definitely a player that I'm going to very certainly think about getting. I don't think I want Crescido. I don't think I want Barr. Barr's definitely too expensive for me. Bentz could be an option as well, but I think he's... Yeah, he's 27. I think we'll, we'll say no to that for sure. Um, Giroud or Giroud. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce his name. Probably no him as well. I'm thinking Gamero would be the best option here. His wage is a bit big, but uh, we're just going to stall a lot of these and see see what else we can really do with this. So, Gamero's accepted, rejected. Uh, yep, accepted. So, 19 for Dede. Dede, I will happily spend 19 on Dede. If we have a look at his uh, at his stats here, um, I'm pretty sure he's only about 23. Oh, God, that's taken me a while. Uh, if we have a look at... Oh, we'll, we'll, I'll show you guys a bit later on his actual stats. And also, uh, Douglas, I'll put in a bid for him as well, 17 and a half. I'm not sure if he's worth it, but it's always good to just put in a bid for him and see what they say after. Uh, all these rejections, rejections, unacceptable. 23 for Ogbonna. I'm thinking, nah, I'm, I'm actually thinking, nah, I'm not going to spend 23 on him. Um, that's just a little bit too much than I was hoping to spend. So, Ajax, Van der Weel. Um, how much did they want? 11, I think it was. I'm not exactly sure. I'm th I think it was 11. So, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get him as well if we can. Um, that guy's accepted. And Conco is only... That is really very cheap, actually, for this player. Um, I've just been doing a bit of research on, on you know, some good plays to get. And uh, a, a lot of these bids were just guys that looked really good. So we're going to just advance a bit and, and uh, see what happens. So it is transfer deadline day. Uh, we're going to have a look at... Um, if any of these guys have accepted any, any of the other guys. I'm definitely thinking Gamero is a good option. Now I just want to get a defender. Uh, pre preferably a right back, to be honest. So we're just going to advance one more time. And I think I'm going to bring in Gamero. Okay, so... Yes, basically all of them have accepted. So Dede. I can, I can get Dede if I want to. So we'll just give him exactly what he wants on his contract. Um, Douglas. Same with him. I'm not going to be obviously bringing in all these guys, um, all these players, guys. I'm just just putting in uh, bids to see, you know, which which I should go with and all that kind of stuff. So there we go. We've put in some offers, and we are going to accept the. Um, we are going to accept the one for Gamero because that's definitely a good good option, I think. So we're gonna Gamero's in our team now, which is really great. Um, let's bring him in. So that, I'm really happy about that. Uh, we'll do that next when we can. So I'm really happy about that. So we'll have, you know, Jelovic and Gamero. So that's a really good combination. And as you can see, yep, Gamero is coming and all these guys have accepted. Wow. So I've got a lot of options to go with now. Preferably, I want a right back. So I'm thinking Conko would be a really, really good player to go with. He is 27, so that is a little bit older and he's injury prone actually, so uh, that rules him out. Douglas, can he play right back? No, he can't. Can Dede play right back? No. All right, um... I would like to get a right back. Um, I really want a right back. I think can even Crescido play right back? No, he can't. Um, I'm not sure, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna stall these. I'm definitely gonna say no to Conco because I did not realize he was actually uh, injury prone. And I'm gonna quickly look for a new player. Um, I really want a right back. Um, so what we're gonna do is center back, right back. Uh, we want a really really good one, at least 80. I'm thinking. Um, and Max estimated worth. We've only got about 33, so we'll just put it 30. There we go. Max wage. Can't be too much at all, actually, can it? Oh, it's a very low, actually, the amount of wage money we've got. Age max, maybe about 28. And we'll see what we got. Um, if, if need be, we can bring in uh, some of the other players, uh, but we'll really see what, we, what we're working with here. So we'll see if we can find any cheap, you know, right backs that are... Um, all right, so here we got... Sanger, uh, he's probably a little bit too old for my likings. Mika Richards would be really good, actually. But these guys all have pretty huge wages, and I probably couldn't afford any of them. Um, so what we're going to do is... Um, I'm not sure, actually. I think I'm going to go ahead and accept it for... Uh, let's have a look here. Let's just have a look. 
Okay, let's have a look. And I think I'm going to accept um, Dede, to be honest. Um, oh, who do we want? Douglas or Dede? I think Dede, because he's only 23. Douglas is 24, actually. Oh, it's really close. I'm, I really don't know who to get. I think I'll go for Dede. Uh, he's a bit of a better player. Oh, God, no. Okay, we, we have to uh, fix our... Um, wait, just two seconds, guys. Sorry about this. We're going to have to fix our budget allocation. Don't know why it's up so much. So we're going to change it to about... Just about like that, so that we've got enough to uh, buy these players. And we're going to accept it now. So we are going to purchase uh, Dede. So there we go. We've put Dede in the squad now as well as um, Gamero. So now we've got you know two more pretty good players that we can add to the squad. So that's definitely going to be a huge, uh, you know, that's going to really be great for our team. So let's just uh, see what we got here on our team now. So Baxter can go. For Gamero. Is Gamero left footed or right footed? He is right footed. So is Jelovic, but I'll, I'll change him around because Gamero is a definitely a good player and we need him to be, you know, in the best spot he can be. Um, and Heitinger can go out for Dede. So we still, you know, don't have the best right back, but it doesn't really matter too much. Um, if, if need be, you know, we can we can definitely look start looking for them maybe next uh, summer or something like that or next transfer, when the next transfer window is open. Uh, but that's basically all we can do with our squad. We've got a decent squad now. Um, now that we've got, you know, a new center back and a new forward to go with Jelovic. So that's nice. And that's basically it for this episode, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the, the very long episode. If you've been watching until now, that is. <laughs> um, and oh, we've got a little transfer here for, for this guy. Who is he? Uh, yeah, we, oh, we'll, we'll just say no because we could get a little bit more out of him. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys want to see more live commentaries. I'm, I'm happy enough to do them. Uh, it looks as though Conco actually sold to a different team, and I uh, I didn't want him. Oh, actually, that's, that's a good price. So we'll, we'll get rid of him. I didn't actually want Conco because he was um, injury-prone, I believe, so definitely don't want to get injury-prone players. I did a, accidentally did that mistake with uh, Essien, and uh, that didn't turn out too well. So, yeah, we've we've sold that guy and gotten some just a bit more money. Not like we really need it, but transfer deadline day is about to end we've got a few more offers here one for gibson now um he's worth more than that and he's he's an alright player so we'll say no to that unless they offer maybe six million uh, not even to be honest because we we really need to strengthen that position if anything so um we'll see what they come back with yeah they've said no all right typical stingy bastards <laughs> uh so yeah that looks as though that's it for this episode guys i will just have one more last look at everything um, it's too late for these guys to for me to accept, so... Oh my god, a lot of money freaking spent, that is ridiculous. So yeah, we just have a look at the uh, calendar uh, for the next month. It's a pretty pretty big month, actually. We got, you know, Wigan, which is going to be a pretty easy game. Then we got Chelsea, Liverpool, and Tottenham. So that's a pretty huge month we've got. Um, and if we look at the EPL table, we only played one game, and that was a draw. So we only, we're still in third position, which is nice, tying with United. Um, so that's that's nice, you know, we're still doing well and just have a last look at our squad um, There you go. It's it's a nice squad. You know, we got Dede. Is he left-footed or right-footed? He's right-footed So we'll swap these two around um, Yeah, I, I figured, you know, Dede is a good player to go for. He's, he's only 23. He's got a lot to improve on uh, Sure, Duffy isn't great, but he is 20 years old He might get better as the series goes on and I mean he's not too bad. He's just a little bit slow and all that so um, also, you know, the addition of Gamera should be nice. So thanks for watching, guys. And uh, if we could leave a like, I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys later.